few weeks ago, Apple changed their licensing for iPhone application development, which meant that we can now use third-party tools to develop iPhone applications. This is something that Adobe had built into Flash CS5 back when it was released last May, but had to halt production on, uh, mainly because of Apple's tightening of their restrictions. Now that they've been loosened, uh, Adobe has restarted their support for the packager for iPhone. This makes it pretty exciting to be a Flash developer because as I'm developing my application now, I have the ability to publish out native iPhone applications. Even more exciting, I can publish out native Android applications and, and soon native RIM and Windows Mobile and, and other platforms as Adobe begins to add support. This kind of extends my reach as a developer without having to learn new tools. So I wanted to take you through how to get started with the, this, um, the packager for iPhone. Um, it's currently still a preview version, although you can develop legitimate applications and, and, and add them to the I, uh, iTunes store today. So you just have to update your current uh, Flash CS5 uh, iPhone packager. So I'm on the Adobe Labs website right now, labs.adobe.com, and you'll see that they added uh, the preview too of the packager for iPhone. Now this is a detailed process taking you through the installation. Um, I'm going to go pretty quickly through it, but for, for more information, definitely come to this site to check it out. Now, this is a zip file that I'm going to click to download here. I'm going to accept the terms and download the zip file, 41 meg. I'm going to bypass that. I've already downloaded that. So once it's downloaded, you're going to end up with a folder that looks like this with a whole bunch of files in this folder. Now this installation process isn't seamless right now. It's a little bit manual because it's still the preview version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a folder on my desktop where this, or sorry, in my program files where this needs to go. I'm inside my program files right now and I'm on Windows 7, so I'm in the x86 programs, the 32-bit versions. I'm going to go into the Adobe folder. I'm going to scroll down and find my Flash CS5 folder. And I'm going to find this PFI folder. This is uh, the folder that contains the SDK for the iPhone packager, uh, as well as all the, the, the needed files. In the installation files, they recommend that you make a copy of this folder. So I'm going to do that just to make a backup in case there's some issues with this preview version and I want to revert back to my old version. So I have a PFI copy folder right now. So. I'm going to go inside of the PFI folder. I'm going to take all the files from the zip file that I downloaded. I'm going to drag and drop them here. I'm going to replace all of the folders. I'm going to do it for all the conflicts. And I'm going to grant access because I'm an administrator. Go through and I've now updated all of this content. Now if you have Flash CS5 open, you'll want to close it down and restart it. Once Flash starts up and you want to begin developing an iPhone application, you're going to want to create a new file based on the iPhone OS template. You don't have to start with this, but really this is the best way to go about it, mainly because this will set some initial width and height of your document to match the iPhone screen size as well as set your published settings. Uh, you can do this from your start screen. You can also do this by going File, New, and choose iPhone OS. Now again, this is going to create a blank document here that has uh, a width and height of 320 by 480 matching the iPhone screen size. If I were to just run this movie, test it with Control Enter, you'll see it preview just like any other Flash development or Flash file that you'd be developing. So you can test this as the traditional way. Now, this is making an Air application. You're literally developing an Air application the same way you would develop any Air application. The big difference is in your publish settings. So if I go File, Publish Settings, and I look under the Flash tab, you'll see that the player version is set to the iPhone OS. If I go into the settings for the iPhone OS, this first screen is going to look fairly similar if you've done any sort of uh, Air application, but you'll notice the output file is an IPA file. This is a native iPhone application. Um, I can put in my application name, the version. I can indicate if it's portrait or landscape, if I want it to display in full screen, if I want it to rotate as the user rotates the phone. 
in the deployment section, this is the part that's a little complicated because you have to become an iPhone developer to be or join the iPhone developer program to be a part uh, or to actually test this on a phone. I can continue to test this in Flash without any problem, but if you want to test this on a device, you have to actually join the iPhone developer program and get an iPhone certificate. You can also get provisioning certificates will allow you to, to test on development phones without submitting it through the store. So I want to talk briefly about that process. I'm going to refer back to the page where I downloaded this application from. I'm going to go back to the, 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 the kind of the three-step process. Just below the download link is a, is a little PDF file that will take you through what you need to do to become an iPhone developer. And it's a pretty straightforward process. It's not too bad. It's just a, a few steps that you have to go through. Uh, and as I scroll down here, you'll see in chapter one, it's going to take you through, it's going to mention that you have to, you know, it's going to kind of define a few things here, what, where the iPhone developer website is, what an iPhone development certificate is, what a provisioning certificate is, um, and, and, and so on and so forth with a few things. Um, as I scroll down, they kind of have a, a, a short step process here outlining the workflow. So um, you need to have Flash installed, of course. You need to have iTunes installed because this is how you'll transfer your, your, your application to your phone. And then you need to um, become a part of the developer program and obtain the certificates. So again, if you follow this step-by-step -step process here, this will help you become uh, an iPhone application developer and allow you to be able to go into Flash and begin making iPhone applications. Now, as I said, this is not Flash on the iPhone. You are literally making a native iPhone application, but you're using your own Flash skills to do so, writing Action Script 3, animating whatever you want on the timeline, and this is getting converted to an iPhone application and, 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 and native iPhone bytecode in the end. So hopefully this helps you get started in creating your applications and, and if you follow those steps you'll be able to begin testing your, your applications on your native iOS device.